Oh, hey, welcome. Dr. Amy here. Got an awesome mug that is very dear and close to my heart. Um, my dad was a civil engineer, so this is the uh, West Virginia Society of Professional Surveyors mug. Um, so, nice size mug here today. Uh, home brew from the Mr. Coffee. Um, this coffee in particular is amazing. It's called Highlander Grog. Uh, it, it is brewed in um, Wheeling, West Virginia, which is kind of near where I grew up. But today we are in my garage um, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to or things that I've incorporated when my shoulders are kind of not really feeling up to par on a day of training and uh, some things that I do before training to uh, help alleviate or put some oil into the joints. So some simple range of motion exercises that don't really upset my shoulder joints so that I can get into that day of training or modify certain movements. But, um, Salou. And we're going to get rocking and rolling here. So, some of my go to range of motion exercises are using a PVC pipe. So, this is my PVC, or you can use a broomstick, whatever, doesn't matter, right? something that uh, you can grab onto so you can do some simple range of motion exercises. I also have my foam roller that I like to lay on because life happens in front of us. So sometimes when we're doing shoulder movements, we don't realize it, but our shoulder will tend to roll a little bit forward. So by laying down on this foam roller, it really opens up our chest so we can get better range of motion into the shoulder. So I know that by doing this in the past for my shoulders in particular, when they would get upset um, or my shoulder speaker would turn up, I would revert to this type of easy movement mobility type exercise. So, I'm gonna lay down on the foam roller and make sure my head is supported, okay? My butt's on one end and my head's going to be supported on the other. I know this is hard to see because it is a black foam roller on my black uh, mats that I have. But, booty on one end, head on the other. So, some simple motions that I would go through. Starting with a wide grip. time I do a pass through I move my hands closer and closer together so we term that motion shoulder flexion and the concept of that is trying to maintain my spine in connection with that foam roller while I try to get some easy range of motion into that hyperflexion. Um, another movement that I like to do for my rotator cuff if my shoulders aren't feeling well, um, I'll go into this next exercise called uh, in external rotation and internal rotation using my PVC pipe. So I'm just trying to create fluid movement here. Movement that doesn't upset my shoulders. Again, this is stuff that I've utilized and sometimes I'll revert back to when my shoulders aren't feeling up to par. Kind of turn to the side here a little bit. There we go. Shoulders are about at 90 degrees.
So as I'm going through this, like, um, this internal rotation motion, I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades kind of locked against my, my rib cage. As you can see, I'm pretty limited on internal rotation. Um, so that's something that I should probably continue to work on. Um, also, without the PVC, I like to incorporate some snow angels. Um, usually that's a term that, that, that we use for shoulder abduction. So without the PVC, same thing, laying on the foam and roller, trying to keep my arms parallel to the floor. So this are, those are just kind of like three different movements that uh, tend to help ease some of uh, the shoulder pain in, in, in the shoulder joint if my uh, rotator cuff is a little bit upset that day. So I always try to revert to not loading that shoulder complex as much and just basing it off of feel. Sometimes just that simple range of motion to get things moving and started out with um, rather than quickly loading up that joint um, will help set you up for success getting into your training or even rehab. So these are nice uh, movements that you can incorporate into your rehab and, and keeping healthy, healthy shoulder joints. Um, so uh, just a little bit of two cents there and uh, you know you can use a broomstick or if you don't have a foam roller I also uh, tell patients too if you have um, beach towels or um, some extra towels roll them up and create your own foam roller with beach towels so you might put two or three beach towels together and roll it up and uh, maybe put some rubber bands around it and uh, so it creates a, a roll and it stays in a rolled position but uh, keeping it simple right simple is effective and um, we don't need to add so many different things to something that can be very easily managed. So um, give those movements a, a, a shot and maybe that's something that you need to incorporate into your rehab uh, progression, right? Maintaining healthy uh, shoulder range of motion and just by utilizing a foam roller, a PVC or a broomstick can help with that. But if you guys have any questions, definitely drop your comments below, shoot me a DM, um, and we will continue with uh, FPT Coffee Talk in the future. So, in the meantime, salute. Mm. And I'll see you guys at the next video.